crying? <laughs> Aww. Why don't you go home to your little mommy? Maybe she's waiting in the parking lot to pick you up. Maybe she's waiting for me. Oh! <laughs> I bet your mom would rather hang out with me than pick you up. Aww. I got the mic, buddy. Nobody wants to hear your pathetic voice. Oh! Familiar. I remember you. <laughs> cool contacts. Thank you. They're just my eyes, but I like your makeup. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. First person to compliment me on that. <laughs> I just got back from Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland, and as you can tell from my voice, I am blown away. Look at the theming. Look at the theming and the level of effort that Canada's Wonderland has put into last-minute Halloween Haunt. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend everyone go visit. I'm going to give you guys some advice on Halloween Haunt, and I'm going to actually say, go now. The park isn't as busy as it is in the summer. Uh, if you have fast lane, you're able to walk on a lot of attractions. If you don't have fast lane, it's still not the end of the world. The attractions aren't crazy like they were in summer in terms of queue lines. That being said, the level of theming at Canada's Wonderland this season for Halloween Haunt was elevated. I have to give a massive shout out to the sign department, the woodworking department, all those people that have handcrafted a lot of these decorations and signs that you see around the park. The signs for all the scare zones were absolutely amazing. The hand carved pumpkins around the park, absolutely amazing. I also want to give a huge kudos to um, all the Halloween haunt actors, especially this one guy in Farmstead. There was a family, I don't know why they brought their little like two year olds to this event, but they were having a panic attack in the haunted house. And this scare actor, um, big scarecrow guy, noticed that the family was just not surviving this scare zone. Um, and came out of character somewhat to help the family get out of the scare zone without being scared. Um, so huge kudos to um, <laughs> that man for helping that family. That being said, there is a Halloween boutique at Canada's Wonder Wonderland that you have to check out. It is absolutely amazing, and it puts Spirit Halloween to shame. In fact, we went to Spirit Halloween before we went to Halloween Haunt, and we didn't end up buying anything at Spirit Halloween, but I definitely dropped some money here at this store. They have Nightmare Before Christmas decorations, they have handcrafted decorations, and everything is actually reasonably priced. It's a lot more reasonably priced than you're expecting. And for those Squishmallow fans out there, they have Squishmallows themed to Halloween at this store. But check out some of these decorations. Some of those are like $30 that you see in that glass case. We were expecting some of them to be heavily overpriced, but nah, everything was great. They even have $2.00. Um, Halloween Canada's Wonderland mugs. But yeah, check out these Squishmallows. Um, with that being said, um, I just want to give a quick little plea to anyone that watches this video. If you're going to Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland, please treat everyone that is working at Halloween Haunt and Canada's Wonderland with respect. There were a lot of rude teenagers at the park today. There were smashing pumpkins, yelling at workers, yelling at scare actors, calling them names. These are people literally just trying to work and entertain you while you're at the park. Please remember, treat everyone with respect and kindness. I know that sounds cheesy, but it is absolutely disrespectful, um, some of the behavior that we saw at Halloween Haunt today. You guys really need to get it together in terms of your behavior out in public. Yeah, maybe your friends find it funny, but other people don't, and you're really hurting someone's feelings and ability to work when you're acting and behaving the way you are. So please just take that and 
please just encourage your friends and anyone you know to behave. With that being said, the entertainment at Canada's Wonderland is absolutely insane this year. In fact, this is one of my favorite seasons at Canada's Wonderland Halloween Haunt. Vampire Disco was absolutely amazing, and from what I hear, it's not even done. There's supposed to be a bar, an actual bar, um, at this little dance party called Vampire Disco. You have to go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. The music was sick, and the actors, as you can see here, are just a whole vibe. Go check out Vampire Disco at Canada's Wonderland. It is absolutely insane, um, and I highly recommend. The energy is amazing. I love this. I hope Wonderland keeps this. This needs to stay. I, like, you know what I mean? Shut up and take my money. Shut up and take my money. Add the bar now, Canada's Wonderland, because I will be there. But I, again, I have to just say the entertainment is amazing. There are various shows throughout the park, and they actually occur at differing times. Some of them are, are occur at you know the same time. Halloween Haunt's only like a five-hour event. But um, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. I know I, I just, oh my goodness, I love Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland this season. It was just a whole vibe. I could tell that people were, you know, really enjoying the different vibe of riding rides at night, night entertainment. The crowd was all cheering together. People were just really enjoying it. Um, and uh, again, just a huge thank you to everyone that works at Canada's Wonderland and the fact that they were able to pull this transition from Summer Park to Halloween Haunt Park in like a week and a half. So kudos to you. Everything looks amazing. Um, in terms of best scare zone, I have to give it to Farmstead. Farmstead is definitely the best scare zone in the park. It gives you kind of like that indoor haunted house kind of feel while also being an outdoor kind of scare zone. It was definitely something that made you feel a little more like normal times in terms of a haunted house at Canada's Wonderland. So I definitely appreciated it. Um, the scares were actually really good. I think in this video, I actually got scared. Yeah, right there. Uh, <laughs> So um, it was definitely amazing. So check out Farmstead. It is located over on the Splashworks path that takes you from Whitewater Canyon over to Splashworks. And the theming near Yukon, um, that little tiny scare zone, is amazing. They need to keep some of that year-round because it looks so good. Um, in terms of advice uh, for Canada's Wonderland, I personally would recommend... Um, Probably doing rides that if you have fast lane, do uh, Wonder Mountains Guardian first and Thunder Run first and the Bat first. If you don't have fast lane, head on over to Leviathan. Um, if you really want to get on Leviathan, that's a good ride to start at. But I personally would recommend if you don't have fast lane, head on over to Behemoth and Yukon area, and you'll be able to get those rides done while everyone in the park heads to Leviathan or to pick up their fast lane in Medfair. That leaves the entire other half of the park open for you to get rides in like crazy in the first little bit. So please take that little tidbit. That's the best advice I could give you. Head on over to Yukon and Behemoth first right away, and you'll get on so many rides right away. So definitely do that. Um, and let me know if you guys appreciate this advice or if my advice has helped you in any shape or form. Um, I do want to say that on the website, it does say drink plans are not valid at Halloween Haunt and Winterfest. And that does seem to be incorrect. Our drink plans did work today at Halloween Haunt. Um, so just wanted to update you guys on that and give you a little advice. Your drink plans should work at Halloween Haunt or we have had no problems so far. Um, all the rides are open. Um, some rides like Soaring Timbers, Nightmares, Riptide, um, Skyhawk, Flying Canoes, obviously Whitewater Canyon, Timberwolf Falls are closed uh, just for staffing and to staff the uh, other rides around the park. And Time Warp is closed too. Sorry, I left that one out. I'm probably missing a ride here and there. I know Carousel is closed as well. Um, a lot of drink stands are closed. Again, this is staffing issues. People are back in school, so Wonderland has a smaller uh, portion of people to choose from to work at the park, and they have to put them in areas of importance like rides and security. And then, obviously, they need to staff their Halloween haunt event. So um, definitely some areas are lacking. So please take it easy on the food service workers. It's not their fault. Every restaurant is having that problem right now with staffing. So again, please treat everyone with kindness. And yeah, I definitely recommend this event. It is 100% worth it. There are going to be days that are going to be crazy busy. So if you can, get Fastlane. 
Um, and if you can't, just plan your day around. Go see the shows. Go to Halloween Haunt to see the entertainment. Choose one or two rides to get night rides on. I definitely recommend Vortex. It is hauling at night. Leviathan is hauling. All the rides were hauling. Vortex, Behemoth, Leviathan, um, and Yukon were all amazing night rides. So definitely do those and see the shows. Try some of the foods. A lot of stores have new Halloween food. Um, we The mess hall has like new Halloween themed uh, dinner items. So definitely check that out. I have to get the pumpkin spice funnel cake. I have to, I have to, I have to. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I answered any questions you may have about Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland. And if I did not, comment down below in the comment section and I will try and answer any question that I can. Um, again, vaccine passports are not required to enter the park, but they are required at Marketplace and Backlot Cafe, um, indoor seating restaurants. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.